Is Tommy there? Is Tommy there? Is Tommy there? Is Tommy there? I need to talk to Tommy. This program is brought to you by MenuJoy.com. We show restaurant menus. You browse, you decide. The Working Waterfront Festival is an organization here in New Bedford, Massachusetts that helps promote the fishing industry, the commercial fishing industry. It wants to educate the community and the general public that comes in, say tourists, to understand that fishing isn't just a job, but it's actually a way of life. Because of government regulations and outsourcing, the fishing industry has been dwindling. And what people don't understand is that because one boat is affected doesn't mean that it's just those people on the boat. It's kind of like a triple, uh, trickle-down econo economic effect. The lumpers, the people that buy fish, the people that service the boats, the fish houses, the ice houses, the plumbers, the electricians, everyone is affected if something happens to just one boat. So if we keep losing boats because of this outsourcing, then eventually the community will probably languish. Will probably languish. Will probably languish. Will probably languish. In recognition of Women's History Month, the Portholes Project from the New Bedford Working Waterfront is promoting women in the commercial fishing industry. On March 8th at the Zyterian Theater in New Bedford, Massachusetts, at 7 p.m., I will be presenting at an event that is called Mothers, Daughters, Wives, Songs, Poems, and Stories of Women from Fishing Families. The wonderful thing about this event on March 8th is that it's free to the public. The Working Waterfront Portholes Project, in this series, they really want to be able to reach the community and just show people how the fishing industry affects everyone, not just the fishermen, but particularly the wives, the daughters, the mothers, the families, the children of the fishermen that go out and risk their lives every day to bring back food for the table. What you will see are four women, all related to the fishing community in some way. Some might, one would be a mother or a daughter or a wife. And there you're going to hear stories, songs, as well as poems regarding the roles and experiences that women have with in connection with the fishing community. There are going to be some sad tales, there are going to be some happy tales. There are probably going to be some odd tales too, as well as I would think some tall tales as well. That's all part of the fishing industry. I had just put the kids to bed. It was quiet, it was cold. It was the month of December. I was washing dishes and it was just before 8.30 when all of a sudden the phone rang. I thought to myself, hmm, who could that be at this time of night? I pick up the phone and I could hear deep breathing on the other side. And the next thing I heard was, is Tommy there? Is Tommy there? And I recognized the voice. It was Sean, one of Tommy's friends that he's fished with. Is Tommy there? Is Tommy there? I need to talk to Tommy. No, Tommy's not here, I said. He's out fishing. He's out fishing? When did he leave? Well, probably he's been gone a week. Where is he? Where's Tommy? Where's Tommy? I need to talk to him. I said, he's not here. He's not here. He's out fishing. I don't know where he is. I don't know where exactly he is. That's, I was getting confused. He was, the voice was so filled with fear on the other end that it was confusing me. And I said, he's out fishing. I don't know where he is. And the next thing I heard terrified me. He proceeded to tell me, there's been a horrible, horrible accident. And people are gone. And all I could think of was Tommy. He began to tell me what just had transpired moments before that phone call. I was the first person in the country other than the Coast Guard that knew the information that he had just proceeded to tell me.
If you'd like to hear the rest of the story, then you're going to have to come to the Zaitarian Theater in New Bedford, Massachusetts on March 8th at 7 p.m. And there you'll hear the rest of the story. This program is brought to you by MenuJoy.com. We show restaurant menus. You browse, you decide.